good morning. This is Divine Sunshine with my morning drive. Um, today's topic is like a hodgepodge, a recap of last night with the DMs and free way of love. I had to have Auntie Riri uh, see through the spirit and uh, my phone, I let it kind of shuffle and pick songs. You know, sometimes you can use that as an oracle to use if you got a whole bunch of list of songs and it can kind of like play through and you say I maybe I need to hear a message through a song and you can let it go on ahead and reach you through that. Uh, I was kind of semi in a, I, you know I did the readings last night uh, and with the DMs. Uh, I thought I was alright. My mom she's very intuitive too and she's like mm, you came up from the readings your energy wasn't too you was kind of low. I said, well, that's probably because they were tapping in. Nobody said anything or did anything. I said, you know, it was just like a lot of energies, and it takes a lot uh, out of uh, out of you when you're doing those uh, things. That's why I'm not doing it like back to back. Uh, those. Thank you again to those of you all that came on last night and and submitted your questions. And uh, thanks you so very much for Jupiter 1111 to making it happen. I feel like the Oscars. I want to thank my God. I want to thank my parents. I want to thank Jubilee 11 and If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here at this moment with this Oscar here and, and all that. So uh, all those things. What well, up with the baby? Uh, he kind of young, so she got to help him walk. Um, so really, uh, I see a masculine and the, and the feminine there. And that kind of almost goes waiting on the bus, but, but on the freeway. Waiting, uh, that kind of goes on my topic of as to... Where are we going? How are we riding? What's the destination that we're going to do there, too? Uh, but just again, thank you so very much for you all. Again, uh, uh, apologies in advance for those of you all that I did not get to you all. I know it's a couple of them. I know somebody said they was from London, and they were ready to really hit their uh, thing today. But you got to remember, again, everything is in due time and due season. So when you do hear the message, It'll be right on time. I'll come back on again um, this Tuesday at 7. Like I was saying before, I got uh, sp uh, Spirit sent me uh, the message with them standing there uh, that um, I I'm resting. I had to rest up to get power back up again for tomorrow. So it'll be tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I'll read the rest of them. I thought I did pretty good for in the two hours, two, two hours and 22 minutes. I <laughs> have mastery. Uh, that I, I did 20 readings, uh, so each one, and I clocked it, and I said, well, how much was that on average that I was doing it? So everybody got like a free six-minute reading uh, about what was going on with their DMs, so that was pretty pretty good. I, I didn't, I wasn't tired, but, you know, for I know, I know definitely what her, she can. There was some other things. The DM was kind of working, although I was powering through, but these uh, uh, like uh, my other boo, I'm so glad it's out now. Divine Pisces 222. I say I got I got another boo uh, on there. It's out. I let you public and know. I said my affections to you. Out loud for the public to know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Uh, so um, with that that she was saying that you know it's a lot of energies, old energies coming back and. What's happening about these karmic -y energies or these dojo energies that help us to learn the way it's kind of really coming up, popping up foul. I figure pretty much why the universe is doing this is because it's really trying to clear up. It goes by my philosophy where I say I don't like to put uh, uh, garbage on top of sugar. And, you know, some people say sugar on top of shit, whatever. But my thing is, is that if we're going to really do this thing, stuff has got to be cleared and we got to go ahead. Excuse me, ma'am. I think you kind of texting, ain't you? Uh, we got to really kind of go about uh, clearing it all. Who wants to bring all that baggage? I said, bag lady, you going to miss your bus. Dragging all those bags like that. So everything today is about road. So getting on the road and really traveling and going. I'm seeing a whole bunch of fires, so it's a lot of changes, a lot of changes, changes, changes that really needs to happen uh, for us to understand. And so, uh, you know, we got to get rid of all that stuff. You don't want to come there with your 20 hefty bags and talk about, ooh, I done moved in, I'm ready. I remember one time on the video way back when I brought up that analogy. And you like, you ready, and the DM is like, well, I done got rid of my stuff. Now, why you come in here with these 20 hefty damn bags uh, worth of stuff? Or he coming with your... 
you come with your 20, he come with his five and, or his seven. I see the number seven. That that ain't that that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. So you know we gotta kind of get rid of everything uh, for us to be able to uh, really do this uh, journey successfully. The overall things that I got last night from the DM, especially that one that was really uh, made me want to cry. It's like I'm really a cheerleader. I'm your biggest fan. It might not look like it. We got to remember about the illusions about how they're presenting themselves. You know, again, a lot of them because of their experiences and the things that they came through. They're scared to really truly show that and be truly vulnerable. That's the overall theme I felt with a lot of them. A lot of them put the divine feminines, they put them in high regard. They put them up on the pedestal. Uh, and, you know, that's a little scary place to put somebody in because, you know, they can fall. I always remember my mom saying, don't put... You know, when we put people on pedestals, you know, that's a tendency for them to be able to uh, fall out of grace with us. Uh, and I think about that a lot of times. Like she said, when you meet your superstars or somebody that you like you and got deepest all for, uh, sometimes she was like, you know, they have a tendency to disappoint you when you meet them in person. And I was like, wow, that's an interesting uh, philosophy. And I've seen that even for myself uh, a couple of times. You're like, man, you want nothing like how you be all this on tv and then when i see you in person you ain't you can't barely say two words so you know uh that's that's that th th my thing is is when you put somebody up so high that you know they may or may not meet your standards or your uh, 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 as far as how you meet them and so uh the divine masters i'll say they message with them is that you know what we are human we're spiritual beings have a human experience just like you we got faults uh, don't put us up so high that you don't think that we on an even playing field. We're right there with you. Some things, again, yeah, some things we are strong in, some things we're weak in, some things you're stronger than us, and we weak in. Uh, it is a kind of thing that kind of, every time I seen that car, I was like, oh, I feel like a needle in the wreck. It's like, come down. We're the same, same level. We're not way up there like that. Um, and so that was kind of like a, a thing. But we got to remember that now, because uh, uh, Auntie Riri got on there talking about the freeway, and that was nice how she said at the end of the song, she's talking about the different things. We got to get on together street, and we stopping up ahead and some loving and some kissing and some hugging. Uh, we got to kind of get our GPS and map our location, our direction as to what way of how route we're going to take this thing as far as this journey. I know with these energies that's going on where we had the Leo moon that just had happened, which is helping us to remind us to kind of get courage and kind of work with that ego as well. That's what's coming all up uh, right now, uh, especially that's what the two dualities of the Leo they represent uh, as well. So, uh, you know, we got to get that together and so we uh, be able to get like really or truly like ride in this car and keep on riding. I remember a lot of times, sometimes I would have with the DM, I told them sometimes it looked like you would take the driver's seat and then when once something would come and distract you, whether it was the karmic situation, the dojo, or his own per a person, place of things that came in the form of dojo situations, he would get out the car and we'd be riding just along really good. I could see me with my scarf tan in the wind and then he just get on out and all of a sudden say, er, stop out and leave me with the car and the engine going and then he go in there and do that and then he'll come back in the car again and say okay well i'm ready to start again and i'm like mm, okay this is interesting i didn't know what was going on now i got to the point that when he if he does that or when he does that he hasn't done that that much because i've been working on myself because i don't let it bother me i go in here and say okay you gone i'm getting the driver's seat we gonna go like we, we go down the freeway Freeway of love, we're riding on the freeway of love, and you can't stop that. I'm riding on the freeway of love, and you in my pink Cadillac. I go on ahead and ride in my car, Cadillac of love, and just keep it going. And so he, I see him up the road and say, There go the divine master, he ready to ride again. And then that's what we go ahead and we just take off from there. So, um. My point is, we got to pick a destination. We got to let the GPS, which is our heart, let us know exactly where we want to go. Go as fast and slow as you want to on the freeway. And don't be surprised when you the traffic gets a little heavy, which means your feelings, emotions, or these energies that's being thrown at you. 
sometimes you got to get off at exits that you don't want to but that's all right because you know exactly it's still going to lead you on to the destination as to where you want to go so keep that in mind as you're going through this journey because this is a journey and just like we're on the freeway of love some things will come we'll take some passes and some passengers will get off some passengers will keep on going with us but right now we got to make the conscious decision who's in the driver's seat is it you or is it uh, your divine counterpart that's driving you to places that you don't want to go Okay, I see my man there. He's looking at me and saying it's the time. So let me go on. I know this is short to the point, but uh, Riri had to minister to me to shift and got myself together. So until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste, namago. Love you.